Today marks 50 years since former economic planning minister Tom Boyer was gunned down along Moy Avenue as he stepped out of a chemist's shop. Family and friends gathered at the Holy Family Basilica earlier today to commemorate one of Kenya's most influential politicians. Stacey Kirori was there for us. Tom Boyer's name alone is a legacy that has remained engraved in the hearts of Kenyans. The then cabinet minister for economic planning is remembered for his planning prowess and political acumen. His sparkling political career was ended 50 years ago along this road when he was shot by confessed gunman Nahashon Joroge. He had the ability to gaze into the horizon and internalize what his people and his country would need in the years ahead. Boya, who was referred to by his counterparts as Sunguram Janja, which means a witty hair, lived up to his wit and virtues, which included his embrace of all tribes across Kenya. Tribalism has been a very ma big major problem in this country. And if Tom Boya overcame it, and actually I think other Kenyans should also try to copy the same, and then we unite the country as one. Boya was a staunch ally of then-president Jomo Kenyatta, something which put him at loggerheads with opposition politicians from his Luonyanza backyard. In the wake of his death, violent scenes erupted in the region, which led to the deepening of animosity between Jomo Kenyatta and his once ally, Jaramogi Oginga Odinga, the country's first vice president. Tom Boyer was oblivious to the fate that he would face on July 5, 1969, as he walked out of a chemist and into the hands of gunmen. Fast forward to 2019, the statue of the national hero now sits on the junction of Moy Avenue and Mamangena Street, to some as a meeting point and to others as a symbol of true heroism. Stacy Kirori, NTV.